the hell? Come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Come back. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I know, electrical system failure. You're going nuts. Just driving down the highway. Exactly what you want to happen on your Ferrari on the highway. Come on. Welcome to Movies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And uh, my cars are absolutely trying to kill me, unfortunately. Uh, my Ferrari 599 newly purchased, loved the car, as you saw in the beginning of the video, was acting up, acting very, very strange. The instrument cluster um, going completely batty like it was losing power and then rebooting. It was very alarming because repairing or replacing that cluster would be very expensive and take a lot of time if I could find one. But in addition, in the garage I was getting an overwhelming fuel smell. And I thought it was the 49 Cadillac because I just brought it back from the detailers. Uh, but no, it was also the Ferrari 599 and the wizard wants to show me what it is. And apparently it could have killed me. So that's the hoopty fleet for you. I already had one Ferrari burned to the ground and then another one was, well, attempting to. In addition to today's video, we're going to check in with the Cadillac CTS-V. I had sent it over to Polk Performance for a dyno tune to see what he could get out of it and what kind of power it's putting out because it already has numerous performance mods. That car hasn't tried to kill me yet, but now I'll make it massively overpowered to where it probably will. So it will be a action-packed day in the garage. But first, we'll head up to the Car Wizards. But before we head up to the Car Wizard, I'd like to thank ShipStation for sponsoring this video. ShipStation is exactly what you need to ramp up your online sales as it sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront. So your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get in the hands of happy customers. Don't wait until you're drowning in orders to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today, now 100% of my order fulfillment for my merch sales is sent out using ShipStation because it makes selling just about any kind of product online so much easier. Now I know I've said the word easy a lot, but I'm going to say it more because that's just how it is. Getting started selling online or making the switch is so easy and will save you so much time, effort, and money. ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers of all sizes access to the same deeply discounted rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. ShipStation is trusted by over 130,000 sellers worldwide, including me and names you might know like Chubby Shorts as well as VinWiki and Car Trek merch. And 98% of customers that use ShipStation become customers for life. ShipStation works with over 45 carriers and easily compares rates and delivery times to quickly find the best option every time. They also work with over 300 platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more. So ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash movies and sign up for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com slash movies. Now let's head up to the car wizard. Wizard! Yes, that's me. I'm on foot, and it's it's Ferrari world, isn't it? Yeah, there's Ferraris everywhere. So the 308, is it running, your car? That one's running. Now we're doing the clutch. You remember in Car Trek, even then the clutch was out on it. So. Yes. And then that one, the maroon one just started up. That was a big project for you. It was. It's a lot of money into that thing, but it, it's, it's a very nice vehicle. It's even that much nicer now. So it's done after its major belt service and all that? Yep. Yeah. Now it's going for an alignment, and it'll be out of here. All right. Well, I wish there's some progress to report on my 456. But it's the uh, standard game with these old cars. It's hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. So yes. we have a clogged catalytic converter on my 456. It's a gated car, beautiful thing, uh, but got all stuffed up thanks to a dead cat. I ordered some new ones from Fab Speed, and we are on week six of waiting for them. Mm -hmm. But six to eight weeks, that tends to be the name of the game, huh? Right. And that's the thing that people don't realize. You see parts online for sale, you click buy, that doesn't mean it's coming. Or even that they even have it. Yeah, I, I ran into that a little bit with the uh, Superbird, which I'm actually going to sell at Barrett Jackson. I couldn't oh, get the rally wheels, I had to buy the used ones. Uh, same with the Corvette, I wanted the twist off the knockoff wheels and the side pipes. Click the button, they said, well, we don't have those. Right. Well, then take them off your website. But right, don't put them on the website. Anyway, so this one's in purgatory, but I do know one car that is done. I picked up the Murcielago earlier. Mm -hmm. It's doing 
fantastic, but Apollo 911, it was running like uh, garbage, unfortunately. So you figured out what it was? Yep. One of the spark plug wires, for whatever reason, didn't get its metal shield put on. Oh. Oh. And it got melted. Oh, no. So obviously this is under warranty. We got new wires and some new shields, and it's happy again. Yeah, and while it was up here, I had you guys do the... Uh, running egg headlights. I had these lying around because I put covers on the old ones because they looked like heck and mm -hmm. I didn't want to embrace the runny egg headlights back then but now I think it's just a character of the car. These early 99s having these orange headlights I think it's cool. So yeah. How's it run? It runs great. It's like it always has. Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing, wizard. I'm gonna have to turn it off. That's that's what I want to talk about. It was fun for all of 20 minutes to have the exhaust like this, mm -hmm. but it is too loud. It drones so terribly. I think I need to redo the exhaust to where it's much quieter. Oh, you want quieter exhaust right now? Yeah, probably more like a stock Corvette. That would be wonderful. So you're starting to get like me and getting older. And not... Well, I want to be able to use the car and be able to hear myself think at yeah, least. Yeah, I get it. I know. So, yeah, do that again, which will be another seven, eight thousand dollars probably. But Who knows? But worth it to where I actually use the car. And now it has all of the uh, appropriate spark plug wires on it? Yep. Yeah. You can see them down here. They got the nice shields on them, all brand new, ready to go. Very nice. That's just so cool. <laughs> it's been about five years since you've done it too, huh? Yeah, except for the issue with the racetrack, it's been a trooper. You wanna do another one? No. Now the real reason I'm here and the one I'm most concerned about is the Ferrari 599. It was a very expensive car and it, it didn't give me very much of a honeymoon, unfortunately. So you saw the video of the instrument cluster going completely insane. Mm -hmm. And uh, you all dove into a little bit, right? Yep, Daniel's actually been looking at it. He actually checked the battery, he checked uh, the master shut off, a whole bunch of things to rule out. He actually found like a radar detector connection that was very sloppily installed. Okay. And ever since he's removed that from the car, it hasn't acted up. So fingers crossed on that, but if it isn't that, then it's the cluster itself? Yes. And you can't fix it? Well, we would have to send it off for a rebuild, but we can't fix it here. Okay. But while it's been here, there's been a very concerning gas odor. It's very strong. Yeah, you mentioned that. So when I had it in my garage, I thought it was the 49 Cadillac. Mm -hmm. I was kind of mad at it, but it's offended because it wasn't the Cadillac, it was indeed the Ferrari, and I had no idea. So yeah. what is it? It is actually in the back seat. It's a common 360 problem as well, but the top hat of the fuel pump is cracked. What? And you can actually see gas puddled in there. Seriously? Yes, yeah, so you can dip your finger in it. So we have two fuel pumps, one on each side. This one, it's full of fuel. Yeah. I'm fingering the fuel right now, yeah. and that is directly behind my head. So if anything would have ignited that, it would just been a blast in your in the back of your head. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, I did not get much of a honeymoon with this car, unfortunately. You, but, and, you and the flaming Ferraris. I, yeah, yeah, I've had one burn to the ground. I've had a few others threaten to do it. This mm -hmm. one, here we go again. So I guess we'll fix that. How much does the fuel pumps? They're about five or 600 each. And then obviously we have the labor to, to take them out and put them in, but- Oh, should I do both? I would think so because the other side could go as well. And then fingers crossed on the cluster, but if not, I have to send it off for rebuild and that's probably a thousand bucks or so. Or more. <sighs> And then I'll do the manual conversion, which isn't a drop in the bucket for sure, but then it'll be an incredible car. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to LS's now. LS's. Out of Ferraris, yeah. Yes. The CTSV, we're gonna put it on the dyno and see if we can get any more oomph out of it. Okay. Yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully it doesn't leak fuel. Well, it's American, it's not gonna leak fuel and blow up. That's, that's Italians. It's Italians, yes. All right, thanks, wizard. Well, here's the fun part with the CTSV. I'm with Dave Polk at Polk Performance. How's it going? Good. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you again. Yeah, you as well. Did miracles on the Superbird, which was quite a project. Hopefully, yeah, the CTSV was. isn't as bad, huh? No, no, it went pretty well actually. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, it's hard to miss this incredible Vista Cruiser. Is this yours? It's a customer's car. Holy Dave's moly! Dead. He's an older gentleman, a pilot, and he's got this thing dialed in. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. It's his cruiser. Full that '70s show spec, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Five speed. Oh, it's spicy, huh? 
got a 455 aluminum heads and uh, well built. I know it made, gosh, it was not far off of 400 horsepower at the at the wheels. Wow. And uh, it's just got a mild cam, but you know, it's very tame. Drives around nice. Okay. Tons of torque. Well, and then you have. Looks like some turbos sticking out of a GTO over there, huh? Yeah, that's the uh, the next project of next week here. We got it's a twin turbo GTO that's uh, progress in the build, and uh, it's going well. Okay. Well, I see the CTSV strapped in. Your business taken care of there? Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. So you've been working on it. This isn't the first pull. You've actually been on it for a few days. Correct. Um, yeah. Had some issues actually. Go yeah, figure. Yeah. The, uh, the initial pulls. We noticed it was kind of had a misfire up top on the on the big end uh, under boost and uh, so then we uh, decided we we're gonna pull some plugs out and check them and uh, they had the right heat range plugs in them but they're gapped like huge they're like 37 thousandths gap so we put some new plugs gap down to right around 30 and and uh, that seemed to clear it all up okay so what was the baseline on it the baseline was 48007 and 483 torque well, that's not bad, but not, not bad at all. I, I, I typically I think they're right around 490 uh, stock form at the wheels there, and uh, this one seemed to have it had a little bit of tuning done to it. And then you can see it was kind of misfiring, so it was kind of a rough uh, torque curve there. Yeah. And, uh, well, so it does have some mods on it too. You can see the air intake, the smaller pulley headers, uh, no catalytic converter, uh, but a stock muffler in a grocery getter wagon. Yeah. It's just awesome. So. <laughs> With the air and take the hat on there, it needed uh, the math calibrated, and of course we had the plugs that needed to be replaced. So that's why the, I think the uh, the original pull, the baseline pull, is a little bit low. Okay, so yeah. I got here just in time to see the final pull to see what it's finally putting out, and it's cooled down a little bit to see yeah. what it'll do. Cool, because pull after pull after pull, it obviously heat soaks and gets worse. So this will be the true test. So we made a bunch of adjustments. We're going to see what the final uh, numbers are here, and we'll see what it ends up being. Here we go. Okay. Got 556. 556. And 541 torque. 541 torque. I mean, for a wrecked rebuilt wagon, not bad. It's a hell of a grocery getter. <laughs> I think that'll do. Um, well, that's some gains. Some, I mean, what did you do? So mainly, mainly I think the, the base number was a little bit low because of the plugs and then the math, master flow was out of calibration and everything, torque management and things. And then just a normal tune hmm. and it's 91 tune. And uh, that's about what I would expect for this car with the current mods. It's a lot, other than the GT500, that may be the most powerful thing I have. And it's a little red wagon. <laughs> it's just so cool. <laughs> well, I could get more if I wanted to blow out the exhaust, but then it would be sort of impractical to haul the kids to school and stuff. Pulled up the school the last day. Oh, oh. I think it was good. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> All right. Those shift points feel good. Yeah. So you modified the shifts too. Yeah, that's a lot tighter, but it's not harsh at all. Yeah. No, it's it. Just a little firmer shift, you know, so it's not that sloppy, slow shift that happens with the stock. So I have a paddle that fell off, but I can still shift it. Yeah, traction control's on. That's good. We'll leave it on. We'll leave. <laughs> it's a red limiter. Great success. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, this worked out fine. It obviously needed a little bit of work, and then you mentioned off camera that the exhaust was about to fall off as well so yes I mean we tightened all that up and got rid of those leaks there I'm glad you caught that and the spark plug change tune with massive gains and the transmission shifting is, is noticeable it's much better and probably better for the transmission right yeah I, yeah I agree yes it is 
those yeah. slow sloppy shifts is they build a lot of heat and wear on clutches and things that unnecessary wear. Right. Utilize that inertia, put it into the drivetrain. Yeah, now just the cosmetics, but otherwise it's a very sorted car considering its life. It's a Cadillac, That's, they drive so nice. Yeah. Alright. That's awesome. Nice Thank yeah. you for watching. <laughs>